friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for spending some of your time with me today. Today is January 25th. It started out with a dentist appointment, so that's always fun. Luckily, it was only two small cavities that needed filled. <laughs> yeah, apparently the toothpaste I've been using doesn't have fluoride in it, and I'm sure that wasn't helping. I didn't realize it until now, and I've been using that toothpaste for like a year. Anyway, at least my teeth are all clean and sparkly. I just tried to film for a TikTok slash Instagram reel. I'm not sure how that'll turn out, but if it turns out at all, I'll play it for you now. And if I don't play it for you, it's because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do next because I have so many fun things to play with. I've got this new diamond painting that I just bought for super cheap on Amazon because I just wanna try it out. I have the dip pen that Chantel sent me and I bought some ink for it so I could play with it, both white and black, so that'll be fun. And then I went to Ross yesterday because I had seen that Dora from Weblight Dreams had gotten some art supplies there. So I actually went and found an 18 set of alcohol markers for $7. So I mean they don't have brush tips obviously but they might be pretty good for $7. We'll see. It depends on whether any of them are dry or how the nibs are. So yeah I'm excited to test those. Oh, and also at Ross, I got these erasable pens, and they're different colored inks, so it's the ink color shown here, and I thought they might be really fun for sketching in my sketchbook, maybe doing some lining, and if they erase well, that would be extra cool, so I'm gonna try that out. But yeah, so many fun art things to play with. Um, I've been having trouble doing digital art lately because I just want to play with all my new traditional art supplies that I've been getting. It is about 9.35 and I got a new patron today. So thank you Skippity Doodah, which is an awesome name. I need to see if I have enough sticker sheets for everybody that I've already printed and print and cut some more if I don't. And then I'll be all ready to mail out the parcels starting on the about the 2nd of February after all the cards get charged and everything. So yeah, I'm a little bit early with that this month, as I mentioned in my last vlog. So I'd also really like to get started on the sheet for March. So I can hopefully get that done super early also and continue the trend. <laughs> I still have not gotten my zap charms. It's been quite a while since they were shipped, so I might follow up and just see. I don't know if there's anything they can do. I don't think they track them. And I know that the mail is going to be slow around this time, so I don't know how long to give it before I bring it up. <laughs> we'll play that by ear. I could not wait to try the dip pen, so I decided to go with that first. I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know how far down I was supposed to dip the pen, but it worked pretty well, except I really need to work on my control. When I tried to widen the line, it widened a bit too much, as you can see. It writes really smoothly, though, and I really love how light of a line I can make, and how varying I can make the line. So I think that will be really fun to use for art once I get the hang of how it works. <laughs> I tried to write my son's name and ran out of ink partway through, so then I refilled and <laughs> then that happened. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need a lot more practice. Disclaimer, this video will be nothing like those beautiful calligraphy videos you see on Instagram. I do not have that kind of skill. 
After I got done testing out the dip pen, Casey wanted to try it too, so he jumped right into an illustration. He's definitely braver than I am. <laughs> it's definitely a learning curve for both of us, but he seemed to get the hang of it pretty quickly, and by the end of his drawing, he had pretty much figured out when to dip and when to not dip and all that stuff. What do you think? Hmm? What do you think about it? I like it a lot. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it easy to draw with? Yeah, very. That's the first time you've had to re-dip? Wow, I did not think there was going to be that much to get on. Looks like a mermaid, kind of, with cl lobster yeah. claws. It's kind of like a robot, crab, oven, ghost. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's try these um, erasable pens. I was actually pleasantly surprised about these pens and how well they worked. It did take a couple of layers to start getting the ink flowing, but once it flowed, they're pretty colors and the eraser worked really well on them. So I will definitely be using these. So these markers are by Self Made Creative. I've never heard of them. And they were $7 for 18 so I'm not expecting too much, but it'll be interesting to try them out and see how they do. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the quality of these markers. Not a single one of them was dry. They were all really juicy and they blended pretty well. So for seven bucks, I'd say that was a good find. I put a little heart above my favorite color. <laughs> Wow, is that ice over our pond? Sorta. Of. Oh my goodness, those poor fish. Yeah, but you can just like do this on the ice and it just like comes right off. So I can't ice skate on it, huh? No. <laughs> So now it is the evening of the 26th of January and wow was today a day. It started snowing a little bit in the middle of the day. We live in Oregon so it does snow here but not very often and it hasn't all season until now and it just piled on <laughs> and we had a lot of people um, on streets surrounding us trying to get up the hill and sliding back down. <laughs> Um, luckily there were no like accidents, so that was good, but it was pretty interesting to watch everybody try and get up the hill and some of them made it and some of them not so much. My husband had a hard time getting home from his office because all of the streets were blocked off by people not being able to get up the hill and just kind of parking in the middle of the street because they couldn't move their cars. We don't get that much snow here and this snow wasn't expected. So 
we weren't prepared at all, I guess. Anyway, tomorrow is Casey's birthday, so tonight we are gonna make a cake and I'm gonna film some of the process. So wish us luck. First, we need one half cup vegetable oil. Tell them what happened, Casey. Well, the big pan we had it in just decided it wanted to break because of the pressure of the liquid, and now it oozed all over the counter. So luckily we have a smaller one, <laughs> and we have our three cupcakes, right? Yeah. Because if it wasn't a super snowy day, we could go to the store and get more, but it's too snowy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So, it is your last few minutes of being an 11 year old. How do you feel? Um, I feel normal, kind of scared, kind of. Of what? I don't really know how to explain it. Do you want to try? Not really. <laughs> Let's find out a little bit about who you are right now. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite type of craft to do? Hmm. Clay. Yeah? What do you like to sculpt? Sometimes I like to sculpt big scale projects. Mm -hmm. I've only done two of those. And sometimes I just like to do like little projects. One of my favorite things about sculpting is it helps me relax. When you're warming up the clay, you're like kneading it, and that relaxes me. What is your favorite video game right now? If you had to choose your favorite right now. I don't have a winner. It's either Among Us or Minecraft. What is your favorite TV show right now? Uh, Voltron, Scooby-Doo, The Dragon Prince. I think that's it. What do you want to say to your future self who might watch this 10 years from now when you are going to turn 22? Don't give up. Keep trying. And work hard. 
and what do you hope you'll be doing when you're 22? I hope I'll have a job and maybe a family. Whoa, already? Maybe. Mm. I don't know. What kind of job do you think you want to have? I mean, my two favorite jobs would be either marine biology or maybe building flying cars. That'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. And uh, some of the starter jobs, I might want to work at McDonald's, Burger King. And what are some of your favorite songs to listen to right now? Spectre, Believer, Dark Side. What's your favorite color? Purple. My second favorite color is orange. It's been that way for almost pretty much the whole year, huh? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Who's your favorite kitty? I don't have a favorite kitty. <laughs> Although she is very cute right now. Happy birthday, buddy. So for the third arts and crafts night with my friends, I decided to work on my diamond painting. It was something that I could do without really having to do a lot of thinking or concentrating, so I could really enjoy chatting with them as I worked, and it worked out really well. I had a lot of fun. I think I might get addicted to diamond painting, <laughs> which is bad because I know that it's a very time-consuming hobby, as if I need more of those. <laughs> But hey, I enjoyed it and I'd love to get some of my art made into diamond painting someday. Ooh, that'd be so cool. So guys, I know this video is late going up and most of the reason is because my sweet kitty Eva got sick on Friday and it's kind of a, a recurring thing she's been dealing with, but there's a few added things this time. So 
we've done more testing and she's had to be isolated and I've had to be kind of taking care of her a bit more actively than usual. Sorry for kind of disappearing for a few extra days, but I'm a little bit tired and just have had limited time. <laughs> so I'm not having an easy time talking today. There's probably going to be a lot of jump cuts. But yeah, so win of the week time. My win of the week is that I got new matching keyboard, mouse, and computer chair. The chair should be arriving next week. Everything is kind of this mint green color. That's my favorite. So that was the mouse. Here is the keyboard. Just really cute. And it, it makes me happy to look at. I'm hoping the chair will be nice and comfortable. <laughs> so we'll see. It was hard to find one that was the right color and the right size and everything. So fingers crossed. Anyway, Please let me know down below what your win of the week is this week and what things are going well for you in your life. And while you're down there, maybe click the like button because that helps my video out. And subscribe if you haven't already. That's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching this mostly personal life stuff vlog. There wasn't as much art this week just because of all that was going on. So hopefully next week will be a better week for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.